Hey guys, D-Mike here for another episode of Super Nintendo Sundays. It's time to blow you away with some more Do-Re-Mi. Show you how pro-Re-Mi I am. We're back at the concert hall, ladies and gentlemen. Full disclosure, like I said in the Kirby episode... Ooh, this is creepy. Like I said in the Kirby episode... Okay, so that just kills you. <laughs> Where am I supposed to go? Uh, oh, there's a bonus up here. So full disclosure in that Kirby episode, like I said, my save file to get deleted for the majority of what I was trying to do. So I apologize that things might not line up 100% with my lives and music notes and all that shenanigans, shenaniganery. So I wonder if the game intended for you to use the bubblegum to find this. That was definitely not intentional. But what I do know that is intentional is that I still have Veloti Power. Yeah, I almost feel like you have to... Oh, can we ride these? Whoa. I see, I see what we're doing. I'm picking up what you're putting down. I'm smelling what you're stepping in. All right. This looks a little tricky, though. I'm not sure how I feel about this. We're back to that weird, creepy music. These music notes aren't really doing it any favors. Oh, okay, so... I'm not sure where the... where a ground is? Okay. Oh. Yes, definitely floaty shoes are very welcome right now. Are these guys throwing cheese? Gosh dang cheesy mouse bandits. I feel like they wouldn't throw cheese, though. Because that, like, are they supposed to eat it? That's wasteful. Why would you throw away, like, your favorite snack? Well, I don't know if mice like cheese that much. Like, where did we get that from? Where, where did we get the idea that mice like cheese this much? Where's the symbolism, everybody? I need to know. Who put that into the... Into the world. Alright. So one of the things that I do need to find as I try to explore these levels is I need to find the gold star thing. I believe you need all of those in order to win the world or something like that in order to get the the magical who's my what? Okay. I have no idea what, I, what I'm doing right now. But hey, shout out to the designers for telling me about how those cartons work, because, man, I just wouldn't have figured that out. So these look like 16th notes. It's pretty fun. Ooh. They kind of move around in a lot, so jumping on those is not the easiest. I hope that we can find where we're going here shortly. Also, these stick their tongue out when you jump on them. Uh, that's adorable. Also, I learned that, uh, Myron here can run. Look at that. Isn't that great? You just have to hold down the, the button that makes you do that. So there you go. Can't really say exactly which button that would be because it's probably different for everyone. Also, uh, I don't know if I'm able to get up there because running doesn't really help you get up anywhere. It just, you just scoot a little bit. That's it. So I suppose that's maybe all that was, unless we can ride these music notes to the top. Maybe there's... Oop. Hey, oh, I have an idea. What if we ride them up to this one? Uh, and then... Uh, yeah. Yeah. You see what I'm doing there, guys? That's... It's called an epic maneuver. High quality, high level... Aww. Well, that was short-lived. Now I have to deal with these, these buffoons. We'll try that again. Everything responds, responds, responds so fast. I was going to say, it sounded like I said responds. It makes me think about how quickly things do not respond. All right, so that was pointless, I guess, because I didn't... Wait, what? I thought I had to get the thing. I don't feel like I did what I was supposed to. 
I'm gonna look at this again. We'll collect some bubble gum for our, our our efforts. But I feel like I was supposed to get the the gold star thing, right? Isn't that the whole point of this? I have to explore a little bit and see if I can find it. Usually it's not too hidden. I don't know if I can get it by going on these things. I don't think you can dip your head in their holes, unfortunately. This level didn't really seem like it had too many secrets to it. Unless I'm just missing something. I'm going to do my, my due diligence and continue to explore as much as I can. I don't know if you need all of the star things to succeed. Oh wait, is that it? Did I just find it? Yes, okay. All right. I was able to succeed in this game for children. Feeling pretty accomplished today. Wonderful. Yes, this game is fun. Thankfully, which is nice, and this is all, also me being vulnerable. This game has a level selector, or a world selector, I should say, not a level selector. You can choose what world you want to go to. So with Kirby, 100% honesty, I had to play through the entire game up to the point that I was at. This one, only I had to start at the beginning of this world, which is fine. These levels are pretty fun. A little tricky. Yeah, that was a pain in the buns, having to play through Kirby. Kirby is an okay game. It's tough to really feel too jazzed about playing through the entire game, especially at like 10 times speed. Kind of ruins the experience a little bit. It just made me want to brute force it. Okay, enough complaining. We're on to level... Is this five? Four? I didn't... I didn't look at it. Oh, thank God, good music. We're back to the good jams, everybody! Yes! Some of this early music just kind of... I don't know. Kind of sucks. It's, I, I know it's about, uh, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's, it's about as bad as me trying to talk. I understand that they're probably going for some sort of like ambience, but you know, it doesn't, oh, what is this? Oh, that's lame. How am I supposed to get this stuff? Do you have to lure them into it maybe? Man, that's lame. How do I, how do I get it? Oh, come on. This is super not chill. What happens if we... Can I jump over it? Okay. So I guess that's the only way. And for nothing, really. Although it does get me back to green, so I need to stop my, my whining. It's kind of, uh, kind of aggressive for a child's game, isn't it? Maybe this game is actually M-rated in, in Japan. It's made for adults only. Mylon's Do-Re-Mi Adventure, NC-17. Little did you know. Oh, wait. Okay, there were a couple moments too when I was going back and replaying some of the beginning stages of this world and it just made me confused because there's some spots which you wouldn't know that are invisible that you can like jump and climb on. I had no idea about that and I don't know if it was like a programming error and the collisions just messed up or what but and what but but there are some places where and some of the kind of bonus room. Oh, dang it! And some of the bonus rooms, they uh, you can jump on and, and like cling to nothing. So I'm not sure why that is, but you know, it is. It is what it is. Can I jump on this mouse's head, please? Boink! Oh, I can land on it. Oh my goodness! So you have like half a second to land on this mouse's head. I need to do it in the time. Okay. It's a little tricky. Kind of a bit of a, a challenge for you. Challenge? I'm doing a lot better, though, with my lives. That's one of the things that I struggle with when I played this game at the beginning, is getting used to the platforming of this game in particular was a bit of a, was a bit of an order. I wouldn't say tall order, because it wasn't super hard or anything. And trust me, I know about all of that. Oh, this was like a mini game, maybe? 
Yes! There's only three mini games like in this game according to what I read. So this one again, it's pretty popular, the the duck hunt variety. You have to try to get them before they get across the screen and you get different points, I think, depending upon how fast you get them. I don't know if that's true or not. If you do super well, you get a bonus. I think if you get all the birds, oh boy. If you get all the birds, I think you get a life or something like that, if I remember correctly. Yeah. The game's trying to pull a fast one on me. That's what I get for being too ambitious and staying on the left side of the screen. Birds are going to juke me. All right, one more. We are the bird hunter. Let's see what our prize is. But it says game over like you lost. Okay, so we're doing pretty well in lives now. We have got quite the stockpile, which is nice. Also, they boarded up the door. That's funny. I also really enjoy the, yeah, the tongue sticking out on the statues. I like that a lot. It's the little things, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let me let me live. All right. So this is kind of an unfortunate position to be in here. Ooh. I did bonk him. I think it's kind of annoying though. Oh! I'm just being a ding dang dong right now. Being a doofus. It does kind of annoy me a little bit that when you land on the enemies, it only stuns them. You have to bubble them up to blow them away, literally. Oh my gosh. This level is all about the bowling mechanic. And part of me feels like the star thing is up there. Also, the mice peeking, the mice, the mouse peeking its head out is very cute. This game does a great job of that, even though it is incredibly infuriating sometimes. I shouldn't say that. It's not really that bad. Like, there's nothing in this game that I've played so far and just been like, oh man, this is so unfair and horrible. Like, it's tough. Not for great reasons. A lot of it I would say it's tough just because the game is old and it wasn't really super well designed, but that's okay. Okay, so that looks like that's a good spot to be in is the... Okay, so this just leads me back here. Fun. All these Mouseketeers. Do I have to restart the level if I do this? Great! I fell for their trap, guys. Look at me. Well, that just means more great music, huh? always a bright side. I don't know if I saw where the... Oof, I don't want that. I don't know if I saw where the gold star thingy was gonna be, so I'll have to go back and search for it. A little frame rate issues here. Game is not a fan of these guys throwing their gosh dang cheese swords at me. You can buzz off. But look at us run! We're so fast now! We learned basic mechanics. How about that? Everything is a teachable moment at D-Mite Place. Gonna give you plenty of opportunities to embrace that idea. It's important. Because if you're not learning, what are you doing? What's life without learning? Okay, so we're gonna get back to that spot. These things on the ground help you to avoid falling into the pit. So hopefully this second half of the level will provide us with the gold star thing because I think that we need it in order to like com technically complete what we're trying to do here that'd be nice this game does owe itself a little bit of exploring I know that there's like exploring you can do in Kirby but it's just not quite as enjoyable as this okay so I'm assuming this is supposed to be do be pushed into that Ooh, there it is, guys. We did it. We are the Lewis and Clark of Let's Playing. I guess I shouldn't say Lewis and Clark. But we got all five. So this must be level five. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Oh, man. Melon is out of his gourd right now. But that should be enough to get us access to the boss, I think. I have no idea what the boss is going to be like, full disclosure. I have not tried it. It's probably gonna clap my cheeks, as they always do. Although some of them were kind of easy and then some of them weren't, so I don't really know what to expect. Hopefully it's not too bad. Oh, 
This is adorable though, by the way. Jumping on these cute little mouse heads. Oh, oh no. Okay, we're fine. Everything is fine. Guys, everything's fine. On account of floaty shoes. Yes, we are victorious. Who doesn't love a good pair of floaty shoes? Okay, so I think this is the cutscene before the boss. So let's see what dazzling information we have from Dubin. We do have all five stars, Dubin. Okay, he's got a great tune for us. He's going to dispel our instrument. Oh, that's right, because they're inside our body. This sounds spicy. Him and his golden accordion. Okay, so we can dive down into the water because of the accordion. <laughs> Morgan's just like, ah, uh, whatever. Great, so now we're apparently going to church or something. This looks like a cathedral of sorts. Is this where we fight the boss? Or is this just another level? Okay. Oh. Okay, so that's a mechanic I was not expecting. Also, this entire world up until now was like, <laughs> what is happening? Everything up in up until this point in this in this world was like real chill and kind of predictable, and now it's just like going off the rails. What is happening? Oh, come on! Heck out of here! If I touch these, just make it go dark. Okay, so there's no way to bring that back. I need the the gold switches. Wow! The old Owen Wilson? Wow! Okay. I don't know... Oh, does that just respawn out of, like, nothing? Can I get up here? Ooh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm not 100% sure what I'm supposed to be doing. This feels very... We oh, come on. Can I not get up there? But maybe if I ride this to the top? Eh? Well, that was not the top. Try it one more time. Okay. That was also not the top. That was not the top. <laughs> I give up. Okay. So there's tons of these, like, brick things? I'm trying to avoid... Maybe the game wants you to avoid the... The little blue switches, because that, that knocks out the power. And I don't want that. Makes me feel powerless. These weird wow creatures trying to sell me internet. Okay, uh Yeah, this is very strange. I don't I don't know what this has to do with anything. I also don't I have no idea how to get up there. I'm just gonna climb on this tambourine. I feel like this was not where I should be going. Usually the top right seems to be kind of the the happening place to be. So I'm gonna keep trying to head up there. Yeah, this is very strange. <laughs> Everything else was kind of like a musical theme and this is like weird, not musical theme at all. There's a key in here. I did see that door in the beginning, but I don't know how to get to it. So I have a key, but how do I use it? Where do I use it? How do I avoid getting hit by the weird balls of electricity? Can I go up here? Thank you. Well, there's floaty shoes. So the game understands how good floaty shoes are. And how important we are. Wow. Wow. Okay. No idea what I'm supposed to be doing right now. But I would like to turn the lights back on. This is just pure chaos. I have no idea what's happening. Maybe that door was the thing I was supposed to be heading towards to get out of here? I'm not sure where it is exactly. I saw it in the beginning when I first started. There it is. Okay, how do I get to that? Up and to the left a little bit? And everything respawns. <gasps> Sacre bleu. Yeah, this is very weird. They are introducing, like, kind of random mechanics here with the... The light switches and the bricks. They told us that we can dive underwater and then we don't, and then we didn't do that. That wasn't like the, the next thing that we did. 
Okay, so I just went back in a loop. That's awesome. This is great. This is high level gameplay. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. This is the reason why you subscribe to these videos. To see crazy cool, amazing things in games that are 30 years old. Oh boy. Okay. So I think I can jump up here safely. I'm just trying to be careful and not land on any of these stinking switches. I feel like I need to be back down there somewhere. How do I get in there? Yeah, this is uh, this is quite quite tricksy, if I say so myself. Maybe I go back down here with Mr. Wow with his headphones. Okay. Am I any? Oh, I fell through the floor. No. How do I unfall through the floor? There we go. There's a door. Guys, I did it. I did basic adventuring. Yay! Okay, so that was maybe like the, the victory road of the concert hall. Now I have to fight. Uh... Oh, the tongue, the tongue magician. Okay, can I hit him with my bubbles? Ooh. Oh yeah, there we go. Looks like we bubble his card and then blow it back at him. Oh, there's roses. Roses really smell like poo-poo-poo. Oh. Gotta be careful there with that. I'm already down to one hit, so I need to be... Oh. Oh, he's like a... He's like the DVD... Bouncing around thing. Remember that from back in the day? The DVD screensaver thing? Oh, heck on you, game. Whatever. This is gonna be annoying, though, because... There's no way for you to gain any pants when you fight the boss. So you get just get the one hit, which I think is kind of unfair. You don't really have enough time to learn about the different attack patterns from the boss before they come after you with fiery roses and DVD players. So he's got some weird hair. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Oh, I forgot I can run. Duh. Okay. Got two hits on him so far. Feeling pretty dang good. This boss is just something else. Oof. That was quick. Quick reaction. Pretty epic. I do say so myself. Yeah, this is, uh... These bosses are weird. I don't really understand. Oh, boy. I don't feel like they're, like, challenging in, like, a normal kind of, like, oh, whatever. I wonder if there's, like, a quick level where I could go and buy and get pants. I don't think this one was too bad. We're going to try to see if we can get pants for that fight. Because I definitely would have been able to do it if I had two hits. Yeah, this one should be good. Oh! <laughs> As I waste my gum. All right, we're doing fine, guys. It's fine. We're fine. I'm just trying to reassure everybody that everything is fine. Don't you need that? We all need a little bit of reassurance here and there. All right. Oh, I gotta be careful though, because I don't have any protection right now. I'm living very dangerously. I don't know if you can, like, save and quit in levels you've already done. Maybe? That'd be a nice little feature, wouldn't it? Because all I'm looking for is pants. Can I, like, get the heck out of here because I've already done it? Can I just bail? Oh, I don't have... F <gasps> I don't have my floaty shoes anymore. Oh, no. Well, what's the point of playing this game if you don't have floaty shoes? It's definitely a lot harder. <laughs> I actually have to platform well. Oh my gosh, all my progress has been undone in a moment. Oh, okay. That's that. But unfortunately, it looks like you do have to finish the level, so. And I'm, 
I'm just a heckin' mess, everybody. This is gonna be a long, a long episode. An extended cut of Super Nintendo Sundays. As I forget how to do the basic things in this game. The game is actually expecting me to know how to do the easiest things that I learned already. Have a little bit of self-preservation, maybe. Suppose I can do that. But in fairness to me, I didn't know that my floaty shoes were gone, so. Although I should have known, I just forgot. I'm not taking any risks here. I'm not gonna blow it. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, it's definitely a lot easier with the shoes. Credit to shoes. Because this is not as easy without them. I tell you what. I remember where I get them anyway, I forget. Be nice to have them on my side. Oh boy. Ooh. This game is unforgiving, I tell you what. I tell you what. It does not, uh... It does not mess around. It is not playing my tune right now, I know that. I'm just trying to keep it together for this family. For this industrial family. Alright. I'm not even taking hits, like that's not even my problem, I just... I'm just having trouble... Staying alive after getting pants. Why is that so tough? Alright. So I'm just gonna spam my bubbles here. As I climb aside. Who knew Myron was... So multi-talented? But you never would have guessed. Yeah, this platforming is definitely a lot trickier with having to actually do it. So there's that. These notes are a little slippery too, so I guess it does. It's fair to, you know, point it out. I'm not complaining. Just to be 100% clear. All right. So I remember I did this and then I did this. Yes. One last hurrah here for the goal. All right, we're ready to fight the boss. Apologies for that interlude, but don't worry, I'm taking you all the way to the coda. That's the final piece of the music for you guys who don't know about that. All right, let's fight the old weird racetrack musician. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it to it this time, I promise. This is the one, ladies and gentlemen. I promise. We're gonna get him good. I think like I could probably get both of those cards in one shot if I actually moved. Oh, come on, they didn't even touch me! His weird... multi-copy version of himself. That's not fair. You DVD jerk. Oh! This is going horribly. Why are you doing this for so long? Oh, I thought I would have done it. Okay, can you stop? Can you stop doing this? This is not enjoyable. Please don't tell me this is like stuck in this animation. All right. We're just gonna do it. With, <laughs> with one hit. I'm not going to subject anybody to that again. And if things keep going poorly, I'll just uh, cut to the final finale. The finale. Yes, there we go. Two hits. That feels good. Shoot your roses out at me. And then your stupid hat with your dumb squiggly hair. As long as it just doesn't do that bouncing around animation. I don't know how many hits he takes, but the most I've done is, uh, is I think two. So, at least two hits. 
I think he's immune to bubbles, so. No! What is the point of this? Give me the things that I can use to hurt you. That's more valuable at this point. There we go. Come back here. Oh, it's not going to let me have it. All right, so it's not three hits. I don't remember how many it took for the last guy, but... Uh, yeah, this is not my favorite. I mean, this isn't the worst boss, I guess. The one earlier in the... Oh, boy. Oh, come on! Did you see that? It barely touched me. <sighs> I don't want to cut away because I want you to see it all. But this is a pain in my buns. This will be my last full try. If I can't get it done here, then you'll just see the conclusion of the fight. Oh, I didn't mean to hit it that way. I had eight lives and I'm chewing through them right now. This is not good. I know what to do. I just need to execute. I'm giving myself a little pep talk like that's gonna change the outcome of what I'm doing. Oh my. All right, well that's that everybody. I'll see you in a moment. And there you have it ladies and gentlemen, the clown magician maestro is done. Card man, I suppose. That wasn't too bad. I only took a bunch of tries that you didn't see. So yeah. We beat him just by blowing bubbles. And he leaves his hat behind with his tooty toot horn. So now we can't toot his own horn, but we can. So we will steal his magical instrument and conclude stage three. Although it should say world three. I feel like stage three kind of refers to more of like a uh, like a level, but I don't know. Anyway, this is gonna be World 4, The Fairy Village, which will start next time. Thanks for watching. This has been Super Nintendo Sundays. I've been D-Mike, and I'll see you later. Bye.